let's go back to PCB Editor Lite and put these pad stacks inside the package symbol. All right, so you can go to the shortcut. Usually there's a shortcut for add pin in the upper right portion of the screen. But if you don't have that, you can always go to uh, layout and pins. Don't know why they put it on the layout, but I, I, that's fine. So now you want to choose the connect option in the options tab. And then the, for the pad stack, you will click on the ellipses. And then just type in pad underscore. Why? Because all of our pad stacks we give it pad underscore and place an asterisk at the end. So what this does is when you hit enter, it searches for the pads that have been made. And we will place the first pad stack. So pad 070, click on it once. And oh, actually, that's not the first pad. We want to go with pad 386070. So then click OK. And we're going to place it. Now, where would you place this pad stack? All right, or this pin, if you will. First of all, you want to make sure that the pin number is correct and that the text that's going to be displayed is also correct. So this is pin number one and text block one, so that's fine. Where do we place this? Luckily, the data sheet has that information. So if you notice from the center of the package geometry, you will place the uh, pad some distance above the center of the package. So this is distance is called small d and it's a certain number of millimeters from the center of the package 2.91 to be exact so how do we place this go to pcb editor and we're going to use the exact placement method i'm not sure what to call it but it's uh if you use the coordinates and the keyboard to place the pad so the default location is zero zero in the center of the origin so let's see our x coordinate would be zero and the y coordinate would be 2.91 millimeters so Let's type it in x space y space 0 space 2.91. Enter. The pad stack has been placed. Let's go place a second pad stack. So click on the ellipses in the options tab. Type in pad underscore hit enter. And the second pad stack will be the 0 0.70 millimeter by 1.1 millimeter. Click OK. And now it's selected and we can place it. Double check that the pin number is correct. Pin number is set to 2 and text block will make it 2. Click in the different field to make sure that field gets updated. Always do that. And now we're ready to place it. So let's go to the data sheet. It's pad B or pad 2. Uh, let's see. H. We are in H distance below the origin and a G distance to the left of the origin. That means we're going to have negative coordinates from the origin. So negative G and negative H will be our coordinates. That means negative 2.13 and negative 1.81. All right. So type in X, Y, negative 2.83 and negative 1.81. I think I got that coordinate correct. Let's see. Oh, 2.13, not 2.83. So you can always delete whatever you type. The cursor doesn't show, but it's always there waiting for your input from the keyboard. So negative 2.13 and negative 1.81. Hit enter, and the pad has been placed. Now I'm just going to repeat this process with the last pad stack. Click on the options tab, pad stack, ellipses, pad underscore, hit enter, 386 and 317. This is the largest pad and the last one that we'll place. Let's check the coordinates. Go to the data sheet. It is E distance to the right and F distance below the origin. So E positive, uh, or positive E and negative F. So positive 0.55 and negative 1.67. X, Y, positive 0 0.55 in the X direction and negative, wow, I already forgot. Okay, let's see here. Negative 1.67, all right. 0.67 and hit enter and the pad is placed so right click and choose done and all of the pads have been placed exactly where they need to be 